Ashok. Hello. Can you please tell us a bit about your background and how you became interested in the field of marketing? Uh, so my background, I did my undergraduate in India in business administration and as a career succession I started applying to universities in the US um, and then I landed up in one of the colleges where I came to pursue my MBA that was in Iowa and while doing my MBA I got in touch with one marketing professor who kind of uh, told me things about the future careers in marketing what are the upcoming trends, these data analytics and all that. So he told me like these are the areas that you might want to pursue and these these things will be hot in the future. So that's how I ended up looking for prospects, like doing PhD. That's how I got into the actual area of marketing and that's how I started for looking colleges to get my PhD and how I ended up doing my PhD. Overall, uh, the broad umbrella in which I do my research is marketing strategy, which is like uh, figuring out, like finding out a managerial problem and utilizing empirical research to solve that particular problem. So within that broad range, I have worked in areas of services marketing, B2B marketing, business to business marketing relating to pricing and digital marketing as well. So if I have to expand on that, my dissertation was about a pricing related issue in B2B marketing. So um, there was a distributor or a wholesaler which used to sell different products to numerous retailers. And then what this distributor decided was to change its pricing policy from a short term policy to a longer term one. And what I explored was okay, which policy was more profitable? What were the um, boundary conditions which made short term versus long term pricing policy more attractive to those resellers? So that's one area. Second area, services marketing. Um, one of the research that I have worked on is based on the frontline employees the misbehavior that they receive from customers and in marketing we say customers are the king but it's not the case all the time because sometimes employees are treated by uh, customers as well and so what can the employees do at that time so in our research we said okay the way they should react to those kind of misbehavior is um, resist constructively so not just quarrel with the like, like the customers as well but um, resist in a way that you are showing them, okay, you are not giving in to everything that they are demanding, but you are kind of resisting in some way that is polite to them as well. Mm, so those are some areas that I have worked in my research in the area of marketing. Okay. Like I said, within strategy, I have different, different research interests, B2B pricing, services marketing, some in digital marketing as well. So. One project that I'm currently working on is the one that I already explained, the pricing and B2B one. My dissertation, I'm working on it right now to send it to a journal for it to be published. So I don't think I need to talk about that. I will talk about the one that the other paper that I'm working on currently. It's on digital mar marketing. Um, so we all have seen brands interacting with each other in social media. So, so a brand like let's say Coca-Cola posts we share happiness and then some other brand like Wendy's goes to that post and um, comments on that post so these kind of interactions are more common where not people are interacting with each other but brands are interacting with each other and sometimes these brands also go to individual people's comment and then you know retweet or like comment on posts made by uh, individual people as well. Some people might not be um, satisfied with the service they receive from a particular brand. They complain about it and brand will try to resolve that complaint in social media. So um, that's one of the area that I'm working on. So the way they do it, right? some brands roast each other, like they make fun of each other to increase engagement, well as some brands praise each other. So our research question in that project was okay which 
which method of communication brand to brand communication is more effective in creating engagement creating interest in social media so let's say a brand make fun of another brand or sometimes a brand praises another brand which is more effective so that's that's basically one research that i'm working on currently again i would say we are seeing that right now as well more and more um, advent of like digital marketing is getting more popular companies have to come up with their own websites to sell directly to consumers probably the intermediaries that are like wholesalers retailers and all that will be obsolete people will start selling all their products through their direct channels that probably is one way that everything will evolve vertical integration whereby like let's say um, Walmart will start integrating all the manufacturers and wholesalers as well they will have their own uh, warehouses they will have their own airline company to ship the products so that these bigger company will keep on eating the smaller ones so probably that's also one of the uh, way I think you know these companies will grow and marketing will be effective. Again I would say talk about this in my classes as well there is a misconception about marketing what people think is marketing is just about uh, um, promoting the product and like uh, customer service that's what usually people think marketing is but marketing is much broader than that there are different areas that you can pursue so for someone who is interested in marketing i would also i would suggest them to um, like hone their analytical skills as well because that's where i think the marketing field is evolving towards um, there's lots of data every company right now has tons of data and they don't know how what like they cannot uh, generate any meaningful information from that clutter so abundance of data but how to uh, take things that are absolutely essential for you i think that's where the field needs much input so i would say hone on your analytical skills and just uh, just don't think marketing as this small function in an organization if there are many areas like you can pursue marketing research if you are good in content creation you can pursue a career in like social media if you are good with numbers marketing analytics if you are good in personal touch if you are good with communication you can do professional selling all those different areas so yeah those are the two things don't just think the scope is very limited and secondly uh, I would say uh, sharp on your analytical skills as well so that uh, you can you know, pursue different areas. Well, thank you for doing this. I hope some of the things that I shared will be beneficial to anyone who is listening to this and I hope you all will be interested in pursuing a degree in marketing. Thank you so much guys.